All right, welcome back to another video. I want to do a short little video. Well, as short as I can possibly make it. I want to do a short little video on how I keep my trolling motor battery charged while I'm out there on the water fishing. And the reason why I do it is because I got a car a battery that I use for a trolling motor and not an actual deep cycle marine battery. And the reason why I do it is because, see, a deep cycle marine battery you can take it's made where you can take and drain it all the way down and charge it back up and it won't like kill no cells on it well over time it will but it's it's more or less made to drain dead and you can charge it back up and a car battery see the difference between that and a deep cycle marine battery is that a car battery when you drain it all the way and you take and charge it back up and drain it and charge it back up what happens is it kills the battery and it makes it where it don't go to like it won't be no good after a while or keep draining it. See, inside of a car, the alternator takes and keeps it maintained all the time so it don't drain all the way. So that's the reason why I'm showing you what I do in this case. You got a trolling motor battery that's a car battery and it's a whole lot more cheaper than an actual deep cycle marine battery. But that's what I want to do. I want to show you what I did to uh, keep my battery charged all the time and make sure it don't go bad. So. I'm gonna jump into that and show you how I do it. It's pretty simple. It's helped me out and hopefully it'll help you out. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And you are subscribing, you came back to watch the video. I appreciate you coming back to watch the video. So let's jump into this and I'm gonna show you how I keep my battery charged. <laughs> Alright, here's my little battery right here. It's a value power, it's a 26R, and it's a 540 cold cranking amp automotive battery that goes in a car i got it from walmart it's one of the cheaper ones that i could find and it's and it's not that big and it's not real heavy like a deep cycle one because my john boat ain't that big but uh i got it back in uh what 2018 right there and uh it's it's not it's not new and it's not old but it's been doing what i wanted to do forever and it works great for me and the only reason why I'm showing you this is so if somebody else wants to get a car battery and it don't go dead on them and well it so it don't kill the battery really because a deep cycle like I said is it's made to drain all the way down and you can um uh, charge it back up but a car battery is totally different it's not made to drain down and uh and charge all the way back up and the way that I keep this thing charged is with this right here there's the secret weapon it's a solar panel is what it is. It's a 12 volt solar panel. That thing right there, I got that from Walmart too. It's one of them ones that goes on a deer feeder over there in the hunting section. They, get, they got like these little alligator clips on them. A little bitty. And uh, they're made for a little bitty 12 volt batteries like I got for, I got one for my, uh, for my fish finder that I got. But that's what I use right there. And it works great and it keeps it maintained for me when i'm out there on the water say i'm like sitting there um catfishing i'll take and i'll hook this thing up to it and i'll leave it sitting there i'll leave this in the sun and i'll put it on there and it keeps the battery maintained for me and it's been working for great for me for like i don't know ever since i got the battery and my old battery that i was using that same way you know it, it works great and that's the way i do it is with a solar panel sit it in the sun I just hook it straight up to the positive and negative on top of it right there. And that's the way I keep my battery maintained. But hopefully that'll help somebody out right there, man. Because, you know, I don't know if anybody's ever thought about, <clears throat> thought about doing that or not. But that's the way I do it. And I just use a little solar panel, hook it up to here, leave it in the sun. And it keeps it maintained for me. So whenever I get back, all I got to do is put this on the charge. And it's kind of like a little alternator using the solar panel onto the uh battery right there i mean it ain't gonna charge it up in no 25 30 minutes or nothing like that all completely but at least it helps keep a charge on the battery so it's not draining and draining and draining all the way down until it goes completely dead so that's the way i do it and hopefully what i got and what i do right here will help you out and that's the only reason why i'm making this video so someone can be helped out by keeping their car battery maintained and they don't have a deep cycle battery and don't have the money to buy a deep cycle battery because they are expensive. I think this battery right here was like, I think it was like 40, 
forty some dollars, man. Then I had the old one that I had, so that was a core charge or whatever. You know, it was like twelve bucks or whatever. But that's what I use right there. Use the solar panel, and I use a little car battery, and it works great. And hopefully, if you do the same idea, it'll work great for you. And that's what I wanted to show.